All right, welcome back on this Thursday morning. Have you ever heard of wobbly cats? They're a real thing. We've actually featured them here on Wish TV uh, before. And joining us now, Susan Hobbs, along with Barbara Wills, the founder of Cats Haven. Good to see you both. Hi, Hi there. there. And who would you bring with you today? Today Barbara? we brought Spirit. She's our latest wobbly resident. Okay. Um, she is moderate, so she actually would be a good candidate for someone who's had a, maybe has had a blind cat or, you know, maybe a cat that's had, you know, being a total brat mm -hmm. because she's a brat. <laughs> yes, she is. Susan, yeah. how does this happen? Um, it's cerebellar hypoplasia. Uh, the cerebellum part of the brain doesn't develop quite right. Right. And that's the part that controls balance and movement. So these guys, uh, they're perfectly normal except for the fact they, they don't really have a whole lot of balance. Right. I, I, as you can see, Charlie, who's on screen right now, uh -huh. is is wobbly. Okay. He's, he's stiff-ganted too, which is not as common as with Abe, which you saw just a minute ago, who's more sloppy, floppy. Right. Yeah. How prevalent is this? Um, it's becoming more prevalent, really. Uh, until I wouldn't say prevalent. I think veterinarians are getting more aware. I think you're right. That they, um, in the past, vets have put animals like this down, mm -hmm. thinking that they didn't have a quality of life. But we're finding now that these guys can live very long and happy lives right. in the right families. So I, I think we're seeing more of it because more of them are living. And Barbara, they do live a good life at Cats oh, yes. Haven specifically. Tell us about Cats Haven. Um, started almost 30 years ago as a sanctuary for special need cats and kittens. A paraplegic kitten found me when I was working at a clinic, and that's when I found out there was nowhere to take her. Mm. And when I found out that senior cats, if people got tired of them, well, it wouldn't like senior dogs. Vets would try really hard to find them a dog. They just put the cat down. Cat has to lose a leg, oh, we'll just put it down right. because they're second class citizens. Mm -hmm. How many do you have right now? In our system, we have 260. What we're dealing with, we have four registered feral colonies. We have hospice homes next to the clinics wow. that they go to. And then there's 100 adults and 15 that are a year or under also. Good for you for doing this. How many wobbly cats do you have? Oh, my goodness. We saw an increase last year. We're up to eight wobbles. Mm -hmm. And some of them are, are up for adoption, yes. right? Oh, like, like Spirit, she's up for adoption. Yeah. In a week, she gets her last set of boosters, and she's just a brat, you know. Yeah. She, she <laughs> will need another cat to play with. They'll have to understand that sudden motions uh, sometimes startle her because she has peripheral vision issues. Right, so she's up for adoption as well as others, right? There's an open yes. house. Tell us about that a little bit. We're running out of time. Oh, May 6th. I'm going to jump in. Yes. May 6th, uh, Cats Haven, 2603 North College. Uh, from 1 to 4, it's um, uh, an open house, tour the grounds, see the gardens, pet the kitties, eat some food, mm -hmm. and just have a lot of fun. Meet the volunteers, and it's always a lovely, lovely day. Good stuff. Ladies, thank you very much for thank being you. here. Hopefully you have success with the open house. We'll stay on top of it. Randy Aulis, uh, good weather today, and, and you've been known to kind of wobble around the newsroom <laughs> as well. Have a